Beef quality. It drives consumer demand. And quality grades show cattlemen have improved the end product over time. But industry-wide progress in carcass trait selection remains comparatively slow. The most important traits are still among the most difficult to predict. Over time, we've leveraged new technologies like ultrasound to help bolster information about end product attributes into our uh, genetic evaluation system. Um, but as we look at uh, different breeds, um, on average about between half and one percent reporting rate of the number of calves born every year make it into our carcass data evaluation. So um, carcass data is an area that's expensive to measure, but we know it's very important, right? All the new dollars that come in the beef business come from somebody buying a piece of beef. That's why the American Simmental Association recently launched an expansive new project that pairs actual carcass records with genomic data on sire-identified calves. The Carcass Expansion Project aims to boost total carcass records and to train genomic panels to more accurately predict carcass traits. Kansas rancher Tracy Bruner is a participant and says the project has merit for all producers. This is not about just uh, gathering carcass data. It's not just a win for the, for the individual animal owner. It benefits the, the cattle that are available to our consumer industry-wide. All the information that we gather uh, will develop better and more accurate EPDs that will lead to better consumer products. Simmental's Board of Trustees invested significantly toward the five-year project, open to seed stock members and their commercial customers with sim genetic influence. We focus our efforts um, and, and data collection on a in this case a relatively large group of animals in excess of, of 20,000 um, and extract lots of information out of that uh, um, exercise and then the genomics tools will allow us to spread that information uh, across the entire pedigree. So um, uh, you know, producers that aren't directly engaged in feeding cattle benefit from the project because they'll be able to use a genomics tool. For the genomic component, the association plans to pay genotyping costs associated with the use of tissue sampling units provided through Allflex. So obviously carcass data is one of the hardest things to get um, because, because not everybody is willing to share it for, for the first thing and because it's very expensive to just get flat carcass data. So our ability now to get that carcass information through genomics is a really exciting phase in our industry. Well through the, through the gathering of carcass data and, and proving the, uh, tying that back to the origin of the genetics of those animals, we're able to increase the predictability, we're able to increase the accuracy of expected progeny differences, whereas uh, a, a non-enhanced EPD may have an accuracy rate of 30 to 40 percent. We can, uh, we can improve that possibly 10 to 20 percent by adding carcass information to that EPD foundation. Seed stock members or commercial producers wanting to learn more can visit Simmental.org or contact the organization. For RFD-TV and the American Simmental Association, I'm Crystal Albers.